Hi, I'm Alan Campbell. Here are your headlines from 7 Action News. The number of confirmed coronavirus cases in the U.S. has now topped 11,000 people. That startling new statistics include two additional deaths announced just Thursday in Michigan. The victims, an 81-year-old woman who died at Henry Ford Hospital in Detroit, a woman in her 50s at McLaren Oakland Hospital in Pontiac. We've also learned the first victim on Wednesday was from Southgate. General Motors is now suspending all of its remaining operations. This on top of the temporary plant closure and closures announced Wednesday. GM says the suspension of operations at nearly all of its facilities will be completed by the end of the day Friday. All right, let's check in now with meteorologist Hallie Vogel for a check of your seven first alert forecast. Hallie? Showers overnight, a few storms possible. Warmest temperatures in the low 60s in the morning on Friday, falling in the afternoon, becoming quite windy as well. Cool for the upcoming weekend, only 30s on Saturday, Sunday, a high of 41. All right, Hallie, thank you. Well, Lyft is planning to deliver medical supplies, food, and other items. The rideshare company is teaming with government and health care companies to make this all happen. The company also says it will provide funds to drivers if they are diagnosed with COVID-19 or they're put under individual quarantine by a public health agency. Also, Lyft, along with Uber, is now suspending shared rides in the U.S. and Canada to slow the spread of coronavirus. Bulbot Health has launched a free online assessment tool for those who may think they are in Infected. Now, this will allow patients to answer a series of questions about their symptoms. This in turn will help them determine whether patients should stay home or seek medical attention. After answering the questions, the online tool will suggest what plan of action you should take next. Beaumont says you can also call their coronavirus hotline at 1-800-592-4784 with any other questions. And as the coronavirus spreads in Michigan, Lansing is stepping up to help small businesses stay afloat. State lawmakers have signed off on a $20 million in grants and loans to help small businesses hurt by the outbreak. The governor's order to close or limit service has hurt more than 117,000 businesses, and this includes restaurants, bars, theaters, gyms, and so much more. Some of them could qualify for grants of up to $10,000.